I was your age. I bet you've heard that a million times too, huh? Annoying, right? Well, with me, every time an adult pronounces those words, it's crazy. I get sent back to when they were 10 years old. And in order to get back to the present, I have to help them. Because it wasn't always easy for them either to be my age. You, goodbye. You, okay. You, sorry, not needed. You are useless. You, you can stay. And you can go on vacation. Hello, dear. What are you doing, Paul? Are you tidying your room? I'm making some room for the drone that Uncle Tony's gonna get me for my birthday. Your birthday? Wasn't it two weeks ago? Yeah, but Uncle Tony travels a lot, you know? Tell me, Paul, how do you know that your great uncle will give you a drone? Because the last time I saw him, I talked about it for three hours straight. He seemed really excited about it. He's dying to fly a drone, too. Huh? Hey, he's here! <laughs> Happy birthday, Paul. See, I didn't forget you. Oh, thanks, Uncle Tony. I really wasn't expecting anything at all. I think you're really going to like this. Hippopoly? A board game? <laughs> it's a collector's edition. I loved it when I was young. Do you like it? I love it already. <laughs> There. And now I'll put it up for sale on Presto Cello. No one will know. And I'll get the drone of my dreams. Huh? No way. I already got a hit. Huh? Tony 45? <coughs> <coughs> That's funny. There's a certain Paulo 76 who's selling his game on Presto Cello. Oh, yeah. I turned on every notification so I would be sure not to miss it. Uh, uh, Uncle Tony, uh, uh, this kind of game really, I mean, really isn't my thing. But how can you say that? You haven't tried it yet. Try it? I don't need to. I already know it. <sighs> Do you realize that you're already lucky to be given a game? When I was your age, I didn't have much to play with at all. <laughs> I'm stuck in the 50s. I'm going to miss my sail. Uh, uh, Tony, pick me. Vito, you can be flying goalie. Mm. Me, I can be a forward. Lucette, we're playing Mathis's game. Sorry, but I need someone who knows how to play. But I know how to play. I promise. Lucette, you're a girl. Since when do girls know how to play soccer, <laughs> huh? Huh? In the 50s, girls can't play soccer? Hey, time to wake up, Tony. Girls know how to play. Ugh. Wouldn't you rather be center forward instead of saying nonsense? We need a striker, and we can't lose this match against Mathis. It's a matter of honor. Mm hmm Well, after all, maybe this is my mission to go home. There are worse things than winning a soccer match with Tony. Whoa, they don't look that easy to beat. Let's get started. Where's the ball? Uh, right here. Are you blind or what? That's the best you got? I don't see how we can play with that, uh, thing. Are you kidding? This ball is fantastic. My dad made it himself with an old inner tube from a tractor. No, 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 that's not what I meant. Uh, true, he didn't have much to play with. Your ball is awesome. We're definitely gonna crush him. <laughs> hey, talking uh -huh. or playing? seen a goal like that. How'd you do it? Uh, I don't know. It just happened. No, oh, no. Here they come. I can't believe they didn't know the rainbow kick in 1950. Yeah! One goal each. Don't give up, guys. Yes! 
We have to focus, especially you, Vito. I'm sorry. Something hit my hand. Look, it's still stuck there. No excuses. That was impossible to miss. Okay, it's 2-2. Paul, you go straight ahead. We'll draw them back and send you the ball. You pull out your secret kick again, and we win the match, okay? Mm-hmm. Yuck! Vito put that thing on me. Tony, pass! I didn't win the match with Tony. That means I'll never be able to go home. Uh, we need to have a rematch. What next? No, you don't understand. It's super important to me. I need to sell my Hippopoly. You have Hippopoly and you want to get rid of it? You're more of a loser than I thought. It's true, Paul. Hippopoly is an amazing game. I played it once at my cousin Bertrand's house. My parents don't want to buy it for me. Mine don't either. We could go to your house and play it. Uh, my house? Oh, no. My parents don't want me to invite friends over. But this is way more serious, guys. We have to do a rematch. Something bit me right at the wrong time. It's not fair. Oh, like me on the hand. I've never seen such sore losers in my life. Yeah, I never lost such a sore life in my life. Uh, no, that's not it. Anyway, what he said. Hmm? Weird. Hey, what are you hiding there? Uh, nothing. Uh, Grandma, um, Lucette, you don't know how to lie. Mm. There, happy now. That's what hit me when I was about to shoot. What are those sticky things? My specialty, lime tree seeds rolled in sap. Mm. Highly effective. Ingenious, but why did you do that? Tony doesn't want me to play just because I'm a girl. There's no way I'm gonna let him win. Oh, so that's why. But do you really know how to play soccer? You never told me that. When would I have told you that? It doesn't matter anyway. No one wants to listen to me. I do. Come on, show me, please. Wow, awesome. You deserve a world champion star. No way, did you see how my grandmother plays soccer like a pro? The other guys have got to see this. Since you're supposed to be so good, go ahead and show us. Hey, you don't give me orders. I'll do it for Paul, got it? <laughs> Make sure you don't roll on the ball. Don't make too many molehills, there are already plenty on the field. <laughs> don't lift your leg too high, we'll see your underpants. <laughs> Paul, there are more holes in their brains than on the field. <laughs> you said, wait! You call that amazing? You should never believe someone who's crazy enough to sell his Hippopoly. You wasted my time. You didn't give her a chance. It's not fair. I believe in what I see, and I didn't see anything there. Okay, let's just have a match then. You and Vito against Lucette and me, and you'll see that just because she's a girl doesn't mean she's not as good as you. <laughs> Hey, if you want to make a fool of yourself, be my guest. I accept your stupid challenge, but if I win, you give me your Hippopoly. You got a deal. We'd better win. I won't be getting my Hippopoly for like another 70 years. Who said, wait, it was impossible to be good when they were mocking you like that. So you're gonna show them your real skills in a real match. What? You're crazy. I don't feel like playing against those idiots. Uh, too late. They agreed to the challenge. You're not gonna chicken out. Hey, girls team, are you talking about dresses? <laughs> Whoa, my great uncle had some real issues with girls. Huh? Okay, let's do it. Hmm. In order to minimize your suffering, first team who scores three goals wins, okay? Mm-hmm. Here, we'll let you start. A 90-second match? Huh? I think that's a record. 
and one, and two, and three, zero. What's the matter? You don't want to celebrate? I loved playing so much, but it's wishful thinking. For important matches, I just have the right to wave my little flag on the side of the pitch. Hi, girls team. Uh, I happen to be here. I have to admit it, you blew me away. Paul, you were right about Lucette. Too bad for her Papali. I'll keep playing with my old ball. But with a player like Lucette on my team, there's no chance we'll get bored. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Tony, you can't judge something until you've tried it. Huh? Hello! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hmm. I win! And you're really lucky. That's three times now. I love this game. But if you're tired of losing, Uncle Tony, we can play a different game. How about a soccer match all together? Uh -huh. I, I want to set on my team. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been flattered like this. In order not to hurt anyone's feelings, I'll team up with Chloe. Yeah, we'll beat him ten to zero. <clears throat> We're doomed. Uh -huh.